And that rate hike request comes as Atmos Energy faces a class action lawsuit on behalf of all Texans, claiming it is not doing enough to warn customers of a danger that could be in their homes. This is something that we've repeatedly told you about with an ongoing I team investigation, as specifically into why victims of a Stephenville explosion say that they never even smelled gas before a home ended up bursting into flames. Ginger Allen reports. You might think I make a bad smell. But it's nothing compared to the rotten egg smell of a gas leak. Atmos Energy uses okay, Rosie Descamp to teach if you smell gas, no act gas. fast. But now, on behalf of more than 1.6 million Texans, burn survivor Russell McElyay is filing this class action lawsuit, claiming the campaign and Atmos give you a false sense of security. He and many other house explosion survivors say they never smelled that rotten egg smell. Their awareness campaign is called Smell Gas, Act Fast. But in reality, you might not smell the gas. Attorney Dean Gresham represents McElye and the family of 57 year old Navy veteran Raul Pedroza. In May of 2017, Pedroza lit his stove in Stephenville to cook lunch seconds before he was engulfed in a ball of flame. There was a big poof. McElye carried Pedroza out of the house before it exploded. Police body cams captured what happened next. Can somebody to help me, please? Pedroza died 15 months later, but not before he and McElye insisted they never smelled that rotten egg odorant, which is injected into gas before it reaches your home. In an ongoing I team investigation, we learned that odor can fade or lose its smell as it travels through pipes or soil. When they admit the infrastructure is outdated, they admit that odor fade can occur. Gresham says simply Google the words Atmos, Energy, Recognize, Leak, and you'll see warnings. You get more than 200,000 hits. Google Atmos Energy Odor Fade, and stories such as ours pop up. I'm hoping Atmos will <laughs> be held responsible. Following our reports, Atmos just added this warning to its mailers. The odor intensity can be diminished, such as when gas passes through certain soil conditions. It also is now advising customers about natural gas detectors. But victims say this is fine print and not enough. To me, this warning is not a warning. When dealing with gas leaks, it's black and white. And McElyay says the more well-known warning was certainly not enough in May of 2017. Most class actions seek money, but this one is not. Instead, it is asking Atmos to provide all of its customers in Texas a natural gas detector. In a statement to us, Atmos says, we are aware of the lawsuit but disagree with its claims. We continue to take precise steps to ensure that the odorant levels within our natural gas are readily detectable. You can read their full statement to us on our website at cbsdfw.com. I'm Ginger Allen, CBS 11 News.